Alright, so I wanted to break down uh, one of my favorite videos that I was able to record last year. Um, this is pretty unique, not in the fact that it's a feeding frenzy. Um, that's pretty common in Rhode Island, pretty much from August through the end of the season, you can find, you know, blitzes from the shore. But what's really unique about this situation is just how shallow uh, the water is that these fish are, are feeding in. Um, this water is literally six inches deep. You can actually, from the shore, I could see, like, the stripers moving, you know, in and out of the rocks, chasing these peanut bunker in, like, unbelievably shallow water. It was really cool to see. But there was also a lot of seaweed around, too, which kind of added to the uniqueness of this blitz, but also created a pretty big challenge for me to catch these fish initially. So I'll kind of break down, like, what I did wrong at first, and then how I was able to ultimately turn this into, you know, one of my more memorable days of last season even though these these were small fish but it still was a very exciting situation this day started off i was actually walking to a different spot and i happened to look probably about a half mile down the shoreline and i saw a big group of birds like probably close to 100 birds is going nuts which is an obvious sign of you know fish activity so i dropped what i was doing and pretty much jog slash sprinted over there on the shoreline so you can see that the tide was extremely low exposing some really slippery rocks so the first uh, piece of equipment that led to my success uh, was corkers which are basically just rock cleats um, honestly regardless of where you're fishing you should always have corkers on if you're fishing from the shore uh, if you don't there's a good chance that eventually you're going to fall and uh, potentially hurt yourself so that's that's step one right there is having the right gear Really so when I finally do get down to the shoreline, um, I'm rigged with the wrong thing to throw out in the situation. I have a swim shad with a jig head on, which is normally uh, one of my go-to lures, but I'm not taking into account how shallow this water is and how much seaweed there is. And you can see on my first cast, within like two cranks, I'm stuck. So I get like a, maybe a two second window for a possible hookup when I'm using a lure like this. this. Pretty wild. So after that first cast, I know I got to get the presentation on top of the water. Um, the question is, is what exactly to throw out? So I'm taking into account what these fish are feeding on, and I can tell it's peanut bunker, which is very small bait. And typically on peanut bunker blitzes, you're not going to find a lot of big fish. And I mean fish in the 20 plus pound caliber. That's, uh, there are situations where they are, but typically you're going to find schoolies and small keepers. So because of that, uh, I choose not to throw out a massive plug and instead go with a little white rapala. I think it's called like a, a darter or something like that. But the main thing is it's a small presentation. It floats. It's got good side to side movement. And white is just universally a good color to go with when you're kind of debating what exactly to throw out. And sure enough, on my first cast, uh, I get a crazy blow up and from there on out it's just hey, a home run day oh there we go oh that was insane holy crap so yeah pretty much the rest of the day is gonna play out like this uh, pretty much fish every cast crazy blow ups on top really awesome day probably caught at least 10 fish um they were small i don't even know if i got a keeper that day but it's just something I was not prepared to find, especially in August, so it was a really cool day. Um, it just goes to show, be prepared for anything, because if I didn't have any uh, small topwater plugs, I could have just watched from the shoreline and not caught anything. So yeah, uh, spring run is around the corner. Make sure your tackle box is stocked up, and uh, I'll see you guys out there.